Hi guys, in this video tutorial I'm going to make a review or talk to you about Camtasia Studio uh, 5, 6 or 4, or whatever version. Uh, I only know of 5 and 6, I've never tried the 4th one, so I can't really make a review on that one. Okay, I use Camtasia Studio 6 in case you want to know. Uh, the Camtasia Studio 5 includes AutoPan, which I do not use and I've never done, so if you use AutoPan uh, consider upgrading or not even upgrading but just buy the Camtasia Studio 6 as it has clearer screen recording and some new functions um, okay this is a little clip I have and I'm going to use that in uh, Camtasia Studio so here it is Camtasia Studio 6 by TechSmith and uh, here's pretty simple we just drag this in and uh, here it is so well, what you want to do is right click and add to timeline. It's going to ask you what you want it to be or the size. I always use custom and uh, I use width 1280 by 720. That's uh, what you need for getting HD on YouTube. Uh, I use Sony Vegas to render it in afterwards. Uh, so that's how I get HD. And uh, then I do not want to use Smart Focus. Smart Focus uh, creates zoom and pan keyframes to optimize viewing at these dimensions. It basically zooms in automatically, but it does a poor job sometimes. So just click OK. Okay, the first thing we're going to go, to go over is audio enhancements. To enhance your audio and get it much clearer and remove the noise, uh, you won't be able to hear the noise here, but all you need to do is just right click the audio and click Audio Enhancements then remove noise and some noise that has been there uh, it, ha it will be removed and that way it gets a little red or something okay the next thing you can import pictures and stuff okay so uh, you can just zoom in so that the timeline is as big as it should be here uh, I like it to be as this big uh, then you can zoom in this is a feature, I'm going to show you here, a feature of Camtasia Studio 6 only. Alright, so let's say you want to zoom here at 3 seconds, uh, 3 seconds, here, here. And then uh, it's going to jump to that frame, exactly. And then just take the scale in a bit. And now we'll just zoom in here in the middle. Uh, you see it goes up. Uh, now, let's say you want to add the tilt effect, as I will have showed you in this video right before now uh, by just going to click the advanced tab in Camtasia Studio 6 this doesn't work in any other version that's why I use it and then just tilt it like this and that way it tilts let's tilt it to maximum and you can see here that it tilts it gets it more three-dimensional uh, and then just click an a bit longer away here maybe and we're just going to click this little square expand and then it gets back to what it should be as you see here it zoomed in a bit it zoomed in a bit it gets more and more three-dimensional the longer it gets uh, yeah that's basically the zoom and pan uh, callouts uh, let's just click uh, here no here here and then click the little plus here the green plus and let's uh, say there is an arrow you can use uh, the two-sided arrow the blur callout the blur stuff and uh, use it over itself the highlighter callout I use spotlight sometimes I use a uh, notepad and an uh, arrow uh, then let's say uh, we want to sh tell you uh, the viewers that all links are going to be in the description uh, period and then uh, you can just select it and make it a bit bigger 22 now you see it doesn't really fit the arrow so you can just take it here and make it a bit bigger all links are going to be in the description you can also edit the text. Uh, my favorite text is Adobe Castellon Pro. I think it's great. 
or cloister black gets a bit smaller there are some colors that aren't really good uh, when you exp uh, make them put them on YouTube and yeah also so that you know this file here is a camrec file but and how you make one is pretty simple you just go and record the screen on the main menu okay so let's say you wanted to just no, not be there too long a bit longer here this way and uh, you can make it fade in or not by just checking this stuff Okay, you can also use transitions, that's for media, things, captions, that is, oh yeah, yeah, that's just to add text, and then you get this little box underneath. I don't like that. Uh, well, you can just import other stuff, music, uh, you can use voice narration, if you just don't have a microphone, or, well, no, uh, if you just want to not say anything weird. I don't really like that because you may forget something or you may some say something wrong. Okay, um, when you want to put this on YouTube it's pretty simple. You just go and produce and produce video as custom production settings by just clicking add or edit preset. We're going to take it, uh, we're going to click new and uh, we're going to say WMV and we're going to say um, custom preset YouTube and then just add a little description and I like to put it as WMV and uh, or I always take recommended uh, the custom size is going to be 1280 by 720 in case we did something wrong here no we didn't and next and you can include a watermark uh, by clicking options I, I made a video about this a long time ago but it got removed uh, well just take the watermark you want I have mine in pictures uh, FF comp help I like to have a circle design for this one And here it is. Uh, I like to set the opacity to 40 and the image scale to 22. And you can also just put it wherever you want. And uh, if you preserve image size, it's going to be huge like this. And uh, emboss just puts the stroke down or uh, disables the fill. I don't know. And then just click finish and it'll start rendering. Uh, we'll just close this one because I already have this con uh, custom production settings, WMV, all that stuff. Include watermark, and here you can just call it a uh, video test, or well, I don't know. Then just click finish. It will start rendering, and the rendered file is going to be the file you upload to YouTube. Uh, that one is all perfect and doesn't have any but it'll have all the zooms, the callouts, the enhanced sound, uh, the tilt effect, everything. Uh, thanks for watching. This was a video uh, on Camtasia Studio 6. If you want me to make a review of anything else please comment this video or send me a message and if this video helped you in any way, or if you like my other videos or tutorials, please subscribe to my videos. It will help me really much. I am currently really close to 100 subscribers, and I think it's been going great. Uh, I've been getting subs really, really fast. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, thank you once more. <laughs> Bye.